All right, another lab that is required of you guys is we have to check the pin bore. Now these piston and rod assemblies, there are two types of piston and rod assemblies. There is a semi-floater where the pin is pressed into the rod, and then there's a full floater, which means the pin floats in the piston and the rod. That's what we have in our UTI training age. Now we, you have a C-clip in here. If you look at that little cutout there, you want to take your screwdriver and pry that C-clip out. Now it's very critical, you guys, that you keep your thumb over that C-clip over on this side. Otherwise that C-clip is going to shoot across the shop and you're going to be crawling around on the floor looking for it. So we're just going to take our screwdriver, get in behind the C-clip and we're just going to very carefully pry the C-clip out. Notice how I've got my thumb over it here so it's not going anywhere. That is your C-clip. Now that you've got that out you want to put that in a safe place and of course there's a C-clip on the other side but you've only you only need to take one of them out. Now that we've got this one out we can just take our our wrist pin and we can just slide it out. We very it, it might take a little bit of effort to get that out. If it doesn't want to come out some of these are stubborn. Your toolbox has a wooden dowel in it and you can just use that to, to push that pin out. And once you get the pin out Right now you can see that this pin is floating in the piston, right? Floats in the small end of the rod. That's why we call it a full floater because it floats all the way through and it requires the use of a C-clip. A semi-floater is going to be pressed into the rod by a machine shop and it only floats in the piston. All right, now we need to check and make sure that our piston pin to piston bushing, there's a bronze bushing in there, is correct. So to get pin size, we are obviously just going to measure the diameter of our wrist pin. We're going to document that. And now we need to measure the inside diameter of that bore. So we're going to take the appropriate T-gauge and we're going to insert that inside our our pin bore and this is basically the same process we're going to rock it back and forth and then you want to carefully snug that t-gauge up because we want to duplicate the size of that pin bore once you get that done carefully retract it and we're just going to transfer that reading just like we did on the big end to a mic you're going to you're going to mic that reading and that reading you're going to compare to the size of your pin bore and that is going to tell you what your clearance is. In order for this pin to move in, in there, that bushing has to be slightly larger than the pin, but we don't want it to get excessive because if it wears out, then the pin starts flopping around and that causes problems. So we need to check our clearance on that. It's important to check connecting rod bores so that we make sure that these aren't out around and tapered and worn. So that's if it is, it causes performance problems and it can cause the engine to wear out rapidly.